Hello and welcome each and everyone to this online class. Finally, we are going to begin the new academic session 2021. I will be uploading videos regarding geography and it is kind request to each and everyone that you attend the online class regularly. So the first chapter that when we discuss, the first chapter that is there in the syllabus is representation of geographical features. This has been introduced newly as this chapter is connected with the higher studies of 9th standard and 10th standard. Finally, in the 10th standard, you will be able to understand topographical map. So due to this, it is introduced from class 6 onwards, so that you understand the topographical map clearly. When you talk about the topographical map or representation of geographical features, the surface of the earth is uneven. It is not uniform, it is not leveled. There are consisting of highlands area and it is consisted of the plains. There are some places it is of plateaus, highland and lowland areas. The total landscape or the surface of the earth is physical features consisting of physical features. So how do we understand how the surveys, how we understand the place? These places can be shown on the map with the help of spot heights and the contouring. These contourings and spot heights are differently surveyed and shown on the map. You can see that these objectives of preparing survey map may be of archaeological, the survey map may be of archaeological, this may be of geological, this may be of topographical and it is of military and tourist. When we study all these different maps and we understand by looking at the symbols and the way they are surveyed. Archaeological map means the prehistoric areas. The archaeologists excavate to find out the prehistoric human past site where they were settled and that is prepared as map. In your history subject, the map that is shown is of archaeological map. The kings that they conquered, the boundary that they had, the empire that they had, kingdoms that they had. So all these things are shown in the archaeological map. Geologist. Geologist is study of earth. How the, st how the earth is, seems to be. The rocks pattern, the hills areas and all in details it is described in geological map. Topographical map, obviously this is the one we are, we are going to discuss and that is there in your syllabus. So, topographical maps are there that we will be discussing after this. Military map. Military personals, they use this map to know and st study about a particular place. Maybe a city where the streets are, exact buildings where it is located, how the pattern of the cities, all these things they study and it is prepared according to that. 
it is surveyed according to that and prepared as military map tourist any new place that you go tourist a place or it is for tourist attractions every details are shown so that it is easy for you to know which directions which places which site is there so all these thing maps the list archaeological map geological map topographical map military map or tourist map are prepared in large scale maps now what is large scale maps there are two types of maps prepared in large scale map and in small scale maps the atlas maps that is prepared is of small scale map these maps will not show in detail in one piece of paper whole world can be drawn but not in proper detail not in great detail but in large scale maps a small area is prepared or surveyed and it shows details about the relief features every detail of the relief features it is showing that is large scale maps a small map that is shown so finally let us discuss about topographical map how the topographical survey maps are prepared there are various methods preparing this topographical survey map the first method is hatchering first method is hatchering what is hatchering hatchering is or they are shown short lines representing direction of a slope when mountains are present on the surface of the earth and that mountains are being surveyed for the preparation of this topographical map so hatchings are drawn the short lines that you could see in the picture over there the short lines are shown and this short lines the closer they are drawn the steep of the physical features is there if they are drawn very far away from each other there is a gentle slope so for steep slopes they are drawn closer together than the gentle slopes means to say that the steep slopes the short lines will be drawn very closely very um, without any further gap but the gentle slopes will be showing the gaps in that way you understand that that this area is a steep area or it is having the gentle slope area but there is two there are two disadvantages of this hatchering the first one is that it gives no indication of the actual height and both high plateaus region and the low plains are unshaded so it has its own disadvantages that it does not give indication of the actual height of their place it shows only direction of the slope it doesn't show the height of the region so that is one disadvantage the second is that the close hatchering of the high mountains regions tends to obscure other details of the map if this hatchings are prepared on the map what happens there are some other details that has to be shown on the map so if all at all this hatchings are made everywhere other details cannot be shown so that is the second disadvantages of preparing hatchings on the survey map the first one is it doesn't show the indication of the actual height and second one is it hinders to show more details of the map second method is hill shading you could see the hills are present one side of the hills will be more brighter than the opposite side of the hill the hills which receive light sunlight that 
areas or that regions will be shaded with a brightness and other side where the sunlight doesn't reach will be shaded with bit dark color so hill shading shows the relief by light and shade there are two methods adopted for preparation of this hill shading the first one is a light is imagined to be vertically over the area being mapped in a conical hill map the light is imagined to be vertically shown on the top of the map so what happens the areas which is steep slope abruptly the steepness is there that areas will be shown with dark color and if the mountains or hill areas it having the slopy area slope or high maybe or low but it is having the slopes that area will be shown as uh, bright or it will be unshaded the steep slopes are then shown by dark shading and the level ground whether it is high or low are unshaded so remember that a light is being shown on the top of the mountains it is imagined and the areas which are having the steep slope abrupt ending of the steepness of the mountains will be having dark shaded and the gentle slopes of the ground will be having unshaded that means it will be shown as a brightness then next one is that second point of this hill shading is that a light is imagined to be shining from the southeast this uh, needs to be uh, understood as we are living in northern parts of we are living in northern hemisphere so when the sun rises the hills of the northern hemisphere receives sunlight from southeast directions and the north west directions remains bit dark so it means to say that the south east facing towards the sun will be shown as brighter or unshaded and north west areas will be shown as dark the hills relief features the mountains then we have the disadvantages of this hill shading as well this hatching and hill shadings are having the same disadvantages like it doesn't show the proper height and when the hill shading is done on the map there are some other details cannot be drawn or cannot be shown so that is how having the disadvantages of this hatching and hill shading then we have the third one is form lines form lines are contour lines these contour lines are drawn to show the height of a mountain or a hills but there are some places where this mountains or hills are not accessible the people who prepare the survey map they are not able to reach the place so they imagine and they take the reading of that region as a height and these form lines are drawn in a dashes lines so form lines are drawn in a dashes lines and what is it is indicating it is indicating the height of a place without any survey that means the elevation of the area is approximately taken as a reading it is not accessible for surveying the area so that's how the form lines are being shown remember the hill shading hatching and the form lines definitions basically these are not that much importance in the topographical map these are the methods how they are prepared for survey map hatching hill shading and form lines now finally comes about the spot heights these spot heights are drawn on the map to show the height of a place from the main sea level 
So from the mean sea level, the spot heights are drawn and this spot heights on the topographical map will be shown with the dot carried by the number. It will be shown with the dot followed by the number. The number is indicating the height of the place from the mean sea level. You could see the numbers that is being given in an index box. So definition of that you could uh, remember is that what is spot height means height of a place above mean sea level. Then there is triangulation method. The hills are surveyed by triangulation method. From all the three sides the height of the hill or height of the relief feature is surveyed. That is known as triangulation method. The definition is that it is also showing the height of a place but the difference is it will be shown with small triangle followed by the number of the height. The spot height will be shown uh, with dot and number but the triangulation point will be shown with triangle symbol and the number means to say that this is also showing the height of the place from the main sea level and this triangulation method also is showing the height of the place from the main sea level but the difference is there the survey is done through triangulation method or triangulation points and it is shown with one small triangle along with the number. Finally, we have benchmarks. These benchmarks are also shown the height of a place. They are shown permanent survey points and they are shown on the map with the letter B M and number that means benchmarks is 60 meter height from the main sea level. You might have seen in the railway station the display board of the name that is being written of the station's name. Below that it will be written the height of the area, height of the place from the main sea level. This is benchmarks but it will not be written as benchmarks in the display but on the map when it is shown it will be shown with BM60 that means at a permanent survey point is showing the height of the place by permanent stone or by buildings. So these were the few objectives of studying or methods of preparation of topographical map. Hope you understood the concept. Any doubt, any queries are there, please do ask personally in WhatsApp and be in touch with me for any clarifications. Thank you so much for watching this video so patiently. God bless you.